Not even close to a year, we have the ROG Phone 8 Pro with us and it is as sleek as ever, especially with its anime vision on the back. It's got a pretty sick set of specs and features as always, with Armoury Crate being the beating heart of the phone. With that, we'll be running through our gaming gauntlet of Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Mobile with the Backbone and PUBG Mobile. Of course, this comes with the aerial cooler, but for the sake of fairness to the other phones, we're going to see how far we can bring it on its dynamic mode. Performance-wise, the Asus ROG Phone 8 Pro that we have is running a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for its processor, an Adreno 750 for its GPU, 24 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte of storage, and everything plays out on a 6.78 inch flexible LTPO AMOLED HDR10 165Hz display and it has a 5500mAh battery. Before I run the test, let's do a baseline of the temperatures on the front and back. So at the front, we are at 25.5, 25.6, not too bad, nothing too crazy. And the back, starting with the camera module, 25.4, it's about the same as the front. All right. So, we're going to be starting off with our first game, Honkai Star Rail. Now that we're in Honkai Star Rail, we're currently 100% battery and this info box can be accessed by Game Gene by pulling down here and we're also in dynamic mode and real-time info right there. So, with that, let's check our settings. Alright, so everything's on very high, we're at 60 FPS and this is what we're working with today. Alright, so that's settled, let's get into the simulated universe. But before that, let's just check out how things are currently just everything's at 61 fps it's running really smooth let's try switching up characters hardly any frame drops even if i switch it around the camera i mean and yeah we're, we're doing pretty all right so far okay let's just get into it all right now that we're here let's get into some combat let's just break this thing real quick but oh there's a frame drop for some reason we're on the 49. Okay, now we're in here. Um, it's going back up to 61. Let's bounce real quick. No, no which was there. Alright, let's do it in normal speed just for now. Alright, so far so good. And swing. There we go. Alright, let's bounce. Okay, so let's go with an ulti. Let's see how the phone handles it. It's still hanging at 661 on dynamic mode. This is doing pretty good. I mean, not pretty good. This thing's doing amazing so far. All right, cool. All right, good. There you go. Welcome. All right, let's go with Marcus Glacier Cascade. Check out this awesome move. Yeah. All right, let's get shields up. And the thing about Japari's ulti, for those that don't know, honestly, one of his, his ulti is one of the more graphically intensive ones. So we'll see how well this phone does. Oh. I mean, I'm like two frames, which is amazing. I've not seen that in a while. This, this is some really good numbers with the ROG Phone 8 Pro. Welcome. This is our chance. All right. All right, let's do it out. Ulti. Doing very well so far. Let's get our shoes up. There we go, any frame drops? Nothing at all. This one is crazy. It's doing, it's doing so well. My lord. Right, get that. And blast them with the ulti. Swing, swing, swing. We're actually really close to this round. And we're done. Nice. All right, so with that, let's check temperatures on the phone. Honestly, I am. <laughs> I am surprised, but not really that ROG has put up such a great phone. Oh my God, we're only at 35-ish. 
degrees Celsius, we're barely hitting like our normal temperatures, 37 at the bottom, 38, right there. If you can see that, 36, 35, and as you get around to the lower region of the phone, it does feel a little warm, but honestly, like I, I felt much worse before on other gaming phones. So let's check the back. From the camera module, we're currently at 34, and on the side, 35, 36, 37.3. So the chips are at the bottom of the device, but 38.5 for <laughs> for Hong Kong Star Rail is quite crazy because honestly, it doesn't feel that warm in hand. And it's just that this phone is also really good to grip. I will say that the sides do get a bit warm, but at the same time, also, it's not exactly super noticeable unless you're really sensitive. But the main thing is that we are currently at 96% battery. We've taken only 4% of battery after playing like one round of the simulated universe. So with that, let's move on to our next game, Genshin Impact. All right, we are hot off the heels of Honkai Star Rail. Let's check out our temperatures before getting into Genshin Impact. Let's check the front. And currently with 96% battery. So 28.1. And as we go down, 28, 28.3, 28.4, that's the highest we've seen so far after one game. Now let's check the back. Setting on the camera module 27.6, 28.6, 28 28.9. All right, we're doing pretty damn good. Nothing's really hitting 30, so safe to say this one has cooled down quite a bit in a very short period of time. And as you can see, 96% battery right here. That's how we can view our battery as well, on top of having animations here. So with that, let's get into Genshin Impact. Okay, so now that we're in Genshin Impact, we're currently 95% battery. Let us check out our settings real quick, but look at that. This game looks beautiful on the phone. 61 FPS and also I believe we are on dynamic mode still. Yes, we are. All right, let's check settings real quick. All right, everything is on the highest. We're at 60 FPS. Can't go more than that. And let's see. All right, here we go. Everything is set to the highest. And let's just take a look at how our characters fare. If I move the camera out, no frame stuttering. Nothing, no frame rate drops. Let's switch up characters. No issues whatsoever, so we're doing pretty good. It's running hella smooth. And let's just run through Inazuma City real quick and see whether we have any major frame rate drops. Or frame stuttering, right? Oh, there's a little frame stutter right there, but it was so quick that <laughs> FPS counter didn't even pick it up. But let's keep moving. This has been really good. Honestly, it plays out very, very smoothly. For you guys who are here to like hold this in your hands and play with it, damn, this thing is oof. Okay, I can't wait to see how this thing handles combat. Ooh, okay. A little frames after there as well, but honestly, nothing game breaking or anything. All right, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's go do some exploration and combat. All right, here we go. Okay, my bad. Let's keep going. All right, very, very smooth. Let's do an ulti once that's available. I can't get out of the way, but ulti. There we go. Alright, let's go. Alright, so far, so good. Obviously, I didn't make a lot of good calls here, but the thing is, this phone is doing really well. Oh, there's more. My bad. I forgot about the second wave. Alright, ulti. Let's get you. Here we go. And... They're all down, yeah. No issues with combat and exploration whatsoever. All right, so uh, with that, let us get into the Spiral Abyss. And gather everyone up, as usual, and ulti. Doing very well. Run, 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 run. Need to take care of the archer real quick. Come on. All right, ulti one time. See, they all clumped up together. Oh, okay, that was bad. We mistimed, but we are doing okay. Nicely done. All right, let's get him. 
Okay, that's one side done. Let's go to the other side now. 92% battery. I think that went down by one. But so far so good. We're doing very well. All right. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. That's one down. All right. You can hide. And we're good. Let's just do one more round. All right, Alti. All right, so one more guy down. Let's Alti this real quick. And I have to say the speakers are actually doing really good. All right, one more guy. And I think that should seal the deal. Yes, it does. All right, doing very, very well right now. Okay. Dodge that. Let's get in. And we are done. All right, so we're at one percent battery right now. And again, no FPS drops, nothing. No frame stuttering. This thing is running very, very smoothly. Let's check our temperatures real quick. So at the front, 33.8, 33.9, 34. Nothing too drastic, but okay, 37. That's like the highest we've seen so far. But even though that's nothing to write home about, that's actually relatively cool compared to a lot of other phones that we have tested before. Let's check the back. 94.3, 94, this place is dead. and the I mean, camera module, 34.9, we're doing very good, honestly, real fuel bias. The phone is still very, very comfortable to touch and grip on, and again, I have to say, speakers are really good, size is good as well, I got a good grip in my hands, and yeah, that is, yeah, this thing is crazy, this thing is, oof. From what I can tell, this is one of the best phones we've worked with so far. Honestly, ROG does not disappoint with the performance on the ROG phones. And this channel is supported by brands who help us improve our content and keep us going. So stick around for this sponsored message. Here at Geek Culture, we've tested plenty of chairs, but Secret Lab gaming chairs remain one of our favorites. Whether it's for work or play, they feel great to lean back against, with their ergonomic features offering support for the whole body, from the head and back to the arms, and even something for your butt. This mix of form and function helps the Titan EVO 2022 deliver the best seating experience like no other. For more information, check out secretlab.co. All right, now with Genshin Impact over, we are going to be playing with Call Mobile, but before that, let's check temperatures real quick. 35.5, 32.7, 3.2, all right. It has cooled down quite a bit, and also we are currently at 90% battery right now. Let's check the back. Anime vision is just really cool. 33.6, 32.8, 33.1, and yeah, this thing has cooled down quite quickly. Wow, okay, it's really good. Really great thermal management. So right now let's get into Call Up Mobile, but with the backbone, of course. One thing to note with the ROG Phone 8 Pro when using the backbone is that the USB-C slot is on the bottom left of the phone. And correct me if I'm wrong, this is the same with the ROG Phone 7s. You'll kind of feel unbalanced because, you know, physics, right? All right, let's put it in there and spread this out just like that. And we are set, so let's get into Call of Duty Mobile. All right, now that we're in game, let's check our settings real quick and go into audio and graphics. And we are on, we can't go at ultra. Okay, ultra frame rate and max but we can't do that so uh like most br players we're going to go with ultra we're going to change things up a little bit here so ultra frame rate because you know more frames uh anti-aliasing is on battle royale mode this is what we're going with here and let's do a shader preload for good measure so far, still 61 FPS. I mean, honestly, this is Call of Duty Mobile and also we're playing this on the dynamic mode and real time info's at the top here. So currently 89% battery and the phone's at 28 degrees Celsius, 61 FPS. I believe I do not have any teammates joining me for this one. So we'll make do. Yeah, look at that. Image is looking really good in this lighting. 
Let's see where I'm gonna jump off. Let's go to bus station. Okay, never mind. I kind of went off too early, or not really. No. All right, here we go. All right, going down. It's straight for the basement. Right there upstairs. Okay, that's just a bot, but never mind. Let's get him. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. Nice. I can do that. Alright, this is the second one down. So far, no major frame rate drops, no frames start doing nothing, and we have taken up 1% of the battery, so we're at 88% right now at the start of the match. Let's focus on getting more stuff. Oh, and the other thing to note is that the speakers are on the sides here and here of the phone. So be mindful of that if you're if you're planning on playing with a controller like the backbone. Obviously, I recommend you either making the game no making the game pretty loud or you know obviously just using your wireless earbuds or if you have wide earphones there is a 3.5 millimeter jack here so at least on the backbone so you have those options for audio right in front of me watch out a9 unit incoming Can you hear me? all right two dogs are down it just means the guy's inside here still. Ooh, okay, that was kind of close. All right, this one guy down. This guy, is, so far we're about 14 minutes into match, 15 minutes into the match, and we are at 85% battery. We started at 90, so that's not too bad, honestly. And the frame rate has not dropped at all. I mean, we are running a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and there's 24 gigs of RAM in this thing, so honestly, no issues. If this thing can handle Honkai and Genshin, oh my gosh, this and PUBG, no issues, definitely. All right, come on, reloading. All right, we have eight more people to kill. All right, three more rounds. Uh, how, how many more people is that? Oh yeah, two more people. I think he should be really close. There he is. There we go. And that's the last guy. With that, let's check our temperatures real quick. All right. Thank you, Backbone. All right. In the front, we're at we have ended the game at 83%. Let's check the front, 34 degrees. Still honestly pretty good, 35.8. As we go lower, it'll get higher. Okay, not exactly, no. 35.1, all right, not too bad. Let's check the back. 33.7, 33.5, 34, 35.2, 36. All right, actually we're doing pretty well. The info panel here shows that the internal temperature is at what, 37 degrees Celsius. But on the outside, it doesn't feel like that at all. It's still very comfortable to hold here. So I think even if you use something like the backbone, you won't have any issues when it comes to thermal management on this thing. And with that, let's get into our final game, PUBG Mobile. So we're down to PUBG Mobile. Let's check temperatures before we start. Yeah, 33 degrees, get 33. Okay, this thing actually does handle thermals very well. This thing has cooled down pretty quickly. I mean, we just got off called mobile 
and currently 83%. Let's check the back. 31.7 the camera module, 32.6, 33.1, and yeah. All right, yeah, this thing actually has cooled down quite a bit. And with that, let's just get into PUBG Mobile, which will be playing with the air triggers. All right, so now that we're at the main page, let's check our settings real quick. All right, graphics and audio, smooth graphics as always, 90 FPS, this thing can do that. Now uh, 4 times NT8 is saying, and I think we're good. Buttons and everything have been set up. Let's check Game, game Genie real quick. And we'll go over to Air Triggers. And yep, everything set up nicely for me. So with that, let's just get into a match. Yeah, currently we're 80% battery right now. And let's see how well we do in this match. I mean, I mean honestly, look at that, we're 90 ish FPS. Like, oh, that's interesting. It's dropping to like 83. That's the lowest I've seen. That's like the most drastic drop I've seen, I think, besides Genshin. Good luck, mates. Oh no. Okay, wait, I need, I need to switch luck, things mates. around. Oh, it's not jumping? Okay, we're finally jumping. Alright, so we're moving in right now. Pretty, pretty smooth flight down. It's two of us. Okay, I'm just gonna follow this guy. Move on our own. Right. Let's slowly go down to the left side. Not sure if she wants to get out or not, but all right, first kill. Nice. So far, as we are driving to find one of our mates, um, I haven't seen any drastic frame rate drops. It's still at a very steady 90 FPS right now, and honestly, it doesn't feel too hot. It shows internal temperature at 41 degrees Celsius. Wow, it doesn't feel like it's 40. It doesn't even feel like it's at 35 right now. To be quite honest, it's working out pretty much okay on my end at least in terms of like real feel on hands. So besides that, I think we're doing A-OK. Oh, yeah, and also we're at 20% better. Uh. Nice. Get us to adequate enough cover. Can't see the muzzle flash. I don't really see them at all. No, oh, damn it. Where, where was he firing from? Oh, I see him on the church. Ah, okay. But yeah, um, obviously that's not enough. So, unfortunately, I'll be leaving this game and we'll be, <laughs> we'll be playing another game. All right, we're starting a second game of PUBG Mobile. We're currently at 76% battery and... Hmm, you know what? Yeah, while we're waiting for the, for the game to load, let's just check our temperatures real quick because it does feel kind of hot right now. 37.9, 38.1, oh, okay, this is actually the highest. 40, 41. Yeah, this is the highest we've gotten. And I'm just surprised it wasn't on Genshin. Oh, Honkai. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on one second. Don't tell me. Okay, oh no, we've been on dynamic mode, wow. Okay, I thought we were on X-Mode, but we've been on dynamic mode and... Wow, okay, 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 I see. Interesting. And right about now. Right. Pretty smooth so far. 
I okay. need consumables. Okay, brother. Hold on. Getting the currently we have 42 degrees Celsius, but it's 75% battery right now. All right, let's get in. I'm gonna go straight for these buildings right here. At least I have something with me. Oh, that was a that was a level two backpack. Oh, oh, god damn it. Oh, on the roof again. Oh my gosh. I keep getting screwed by guys on the roof. As you can see, the, the game runs pretty fine. It's just that uh, I'm I'm pretty down on my luck today. So I guess we can call it quits on that. So with that, let's just check final temperatures. So it's kind of embarrassing, but never mind. Uh, 30.7, 39.6, it is getting pretty hot on here. 41.6 the highest, I believe. 41.3. All right, that's, it's it's a funny thing because Genshin and Honkai never got this hot, but for PUBG it does which is interesting and we're not running on X mode or anything we're running on dynamic mode all right at the back 38.1 38.6 38.9 40.4 40 40.4 40. all right okay so with that i think we can head on to our final thoughts the rog phone 8 pro is exactly what you expect from a rog solid thermal management great battery life sweet accessories which of course we didn't use in this test to be fair to the rest of the phones we try out and above all amazing performance with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 and 24 gigs of ram which just blows away most of the competition in the gaming phone space Honkai and Genshin Impact had little to no frame rate drops or stuttering and COD Mobile and PUBG Mobile played smooth as heck with the only surprise being that PUBG Mobile ran the hottest at 41 degrees Celsius during the match something that Genshin and Honkai are usually capable of but not with this phone overall the ROG Phone 8 Pro is a demon in its class offering unbridled power with amazing thermal management so would you be getting the ROG Phone 8 Pro? let me know in the comment section below Leave your questions there too if you have any and we'll do our best to get to them. If you like what we do, make sure to follow us on all of our socials right here because we upload stuff every day and maybe leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way. This is Zin. Have a great week. And if you want to see more stuff, check this out.